gosh, I love this song. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool. Everything is awesome. Always use a turn signal. Park between the lines. Yes. Drop off dry cleaning before noon. Read the headlines. Don't forget to smile. Always root for the local sports team. Go sports team! Always return a compliment. Hey, you look nice. So do you. Drink overpriced coffee. There you go. That's thirty-seven dollars. Awesome. Hi there. Welcome back to the new episode of Build with Chrome. Where we left off, we had just finished building the uh, spaceship and the pod and whatever else. I needed to with Benny, the space guy. So this is episode three, and we're continuing with it. So now we're moving on to Cloud Cuckoo Land. So I'm just going to click Start, and we'll move on. All right, what do we need to build today? So it looks like bird's feet, resembling bird's feet. All right. So I need some of these uh, different colored ones. Oh, look, we've got a whole new array of colors, which is kind of interesting. Um, Oh, wrong way. Uh, so, this is actually kind of fun to do. I've recorded a bunch of episodes at the same time just because I like getting through them and the fact that uh, these sort of challenges uh, these sort of challenges kind of amuse me and keep me busy. Give me something to do during the day, especially today. Today's kind of, it's a Sunday, kind of a, not the greatest day in the world. Um, it's kind of rainy outside and didn't really have much to do, so decided to do a couple more of these episodes. Um, I Like I said, I haven't actually gone through this tuto tutorial before, so I'm not sure how many uh, exercises there are, but uh, I guess we'll see. Once I've finished with all these uh, tutorials, I will uh, post the... I will post uh, the video of, uh, I'd call it more of a slideshow actually, of all of the, um, all of the ones that I have already done that weren't able to be posted on my Google account. So you'll be able to, you'll be able to see the ones. Uh, like I said, I took screenshots of all of them from all different angles and kind of just for my personal record, you know, just show what I can do. Um, I usually take screenshots of all the stuff that I do just so that if I don't have access to my uh, Google account at any time, I can quickly just bring them up and things like that. Um, so weekend's been pretty pretty uh, boring for me. Haven't really done too much. Um, yesterday I kind of just cleaned up my apartment and did things like that. I uh, went to the store. But today, um, like I said, it's a bit of a, not the greatest day in the world. Well, it's a bit sunny, but it's a bit rainy at the same time. I like the weather says, it's overcast today. We had a rain shower for like ten, five, ten minutes, and now all of a sudden the sun's trying to come out, which I guess is to be expected. Um, so I watched a couple movies last night. Um, one of them I watched was uh, Robocop, the new Robocop movie. Um, which was kind of interesting. I had seen the original three, I believe. Yeah, the original three. Um, the first two were definitely far better than the than the third. The third was kind of just like trying to just rake in the money, I guess. Um, but the new Robocop movie definitely put a different spin on it. Um, definitely looked at the robot from more of a human perspective of how the human was trying to... of how... It, um, how Captain Murphy was trying to like deal with his whole robotic self, um, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, they had a great cast in it as well. Like I think um, Samuel L. Jackson, 
his, even though his character wasn't a pivotal character, he was more just a newscaster, which was, I thought, kind of amusing. Um, I think his character was definitely enlightening. And then the whole uh, array of characters of the, I guess, I don't know what you would call it, but the uh, research lab that was dealing with building him into a robot, uh, Gary Oldman, great character. I really think he went through a lot of um, emotional turmoil, trying to, and ethical debates with himself, trying to decide whether or not he wanted to actually turn Agent Murphy into a robot. But um, I thought it was a good movie nonetheless. I would suspect they're planning on bringing out sequels to it since it was fairly popular. So I watched that movie. Um, it was pretty good. Like I said, I enjoyed it. Um, and then after that I watched uh, the, the Wolf of Wall Street, which I don't know. I don't quite know how to react to that movie. It was, to me, it was a very over-dramatized. Um, and I'm not surprised that Leonardo DiCaprio didn't win it. Did it. Didn't. I'm not surprised that he didn't win a, uh, an award for that movie because I think it was just too much overacting. Um, I think he tries too hard as an actor. Like, I enjoy some of his films. Um... I enjoyed uh, The Aviator, and I enjoyed um, Catch Me If You Can, and Titanic was pretty good as well, but um, but I definitely think that he tried too hard in that movie. Um, the directing was pretty good. Um, Martin Scorsese is a, is a good director, and I like a lot of his films. Um, but uh yeah it was a very it was honestly it was one of those movies that just seemed to go on for too long just try it just went on for way too long um if you like long movies then i guess enjoy it like i enjoy long movies if they have if they have a plot and they keep me going um like i'll watch lord of the rings i'll watch uh, Harry Potter, the, the uh, King Kong, I watched that. They're long movies, but um, but they're entertaining. Whereas this was not that entertaining. Um, it had it had a decent plot, but you always knew that he was going to get caught and something was going to happen. Uh, but I thought it was also pretty funny at the end when he gets out of jail and all that stuff. He decides to go to New Zealand and. Uh, he was at some conference in New Zealand, which I thought was kind of funny. Um, whether or not that was actually true or not is, I don't know, but I thought that was pretty funny that they had that little segment at the end. Oh, great. Looks like we're done with, with this one. Looks like we built a bird or interesting little bird thing. So let's f move on. All right, what's our next challenge? Next challenge is... To build Whoa, what are they wanting us to build now? I have to switch the orange bricks to pink. Okay, that's not too difficult. So I'll line up the colors first so that I'm not wasting time. Oops. I'm being timed for this. This isn't cool. To cool yellow? Is that what they wanted? To cool yellow. Shoot. Oh! Okay. Come on. It's a bit more pressure. I didn't realize there was going to be time trialed. See how fast you can assemble these cloud cuckoo trees. Holy crap on a cracker. Alright. Let's get my colors lined up. Let's go pink. Okay, so it's pink. Oh. Pink. Nope. Crap. Oh, I 
need the yellow... Oh, it's over here. And then we'll see how they color this color. Okay, and a yellow base. I really hope I can make this, because this would suck if I couldn't. Okay, this is ticking clock is not helping at all. Nope, wrong way. Shoot. Needs to. Nope, I missed it. Bugger. Wow. This is gonna. This actually might be more challenging than I thought it would be. Okay. Wow. All right. Might need to concentrate, so I might be silent for a little bit as I figure out how to do this quicker. Probably didn't go about this the best way possible, but I should be able to do it next time because I know what I'm doing. It's hard. I should get the angles right first before I do anything else. I am going a bit of a shortcut route. That's the wrong color. That is not gray. Oh, yellow. Awesome. So yeah, that's another mm. thing I can show you in a moment is the shortcut keys to rotate. Uh, it's actually just the arrow keys. So the arrow keys are what rotate things, which I think is actually really useful. Found that out, and so it makes mm. oh, makes life a lot easier. Um, arrow keys rotate the pieces, so let's go. I need the dark color now. Boom. Nope. Yellow. Should be able to do this this time. Yeah, I was about 20 seconds the last time I did this, so doing a lot better. Though I probably just jinxed it. <laughs> ah! There we go. Wow. What? Bigger cloud cuckoo tree. Oh, jeez. Okay. I might do it this way just because I know it's going to be a bit quicker. And I need to go up three levels. So one, two, three. Four levels, crap. Two, three. This is way too challenging. And then I'll put on the head, so. Nope, that one. Oh, shoot. Get in there. At least I can see it better now. It actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, I think, doing it. Whoops. Oh, wrong pink color. God dang it. Taking too many pieces away. I probably am not going to make this, though. Uh, I might, if I'm lucky. Mm. 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 
What? What? No, I'm not gonna make this. Do I need to go up one more level? Oh, I did too. I needed to go up one more level. Wow, this is super frustrating. Super, super frustrating. Alright. Wow. Okay. So, let's do this again. Sheesh. I hope this episode isn't me just screwing up every five seconds. This is... Timed is very annoying, actually. I didn't think I was going to make it a lot of time because I had screwed up, but, uh... Yeah, that's the one thing, is they should have shortcuts to get to your colors, like... Which, maybe they do, and I just haven't found it yet. So if any of you guys know any shortcuts to getting changing the colors quickly so I can... replicate the building of the, uh... Oh, I need the dark one. Replicate the building of the... Whatever you want to call it, these trees. Actually, I'll go this way first. Um, of these trees, that would be great to know. Because this is very painstaking and annoying. I have to admit, I never like being under pressure when building something so tedious. So. Yeah. I also find it kind of strange that when you're placing pieces, even though it tells you that there's a red, like you can't put something there, you can still try to, and it sort of works, so. Alright. Oh. What? What? How did I... might just sneak in and time oh that was close I don't know what my time was down to but I got very close on that one oh that was way too close way too close for comfort I think I had like one second remaining sheesh Never doing that again. Whoa. Though I probably am not going to make it on this one either. But I guess we'll find out in a moment, won't we? Um, might be going about this a very unorthodox way, but that's... So how many things? One? Oh, I need to go up one more level. Yeah, this is where I screwed up last time, is I didn't go up enough levels. The other part that I screw up on is the this thing over here, so I'm going to do that one now. So this piece goes here, does it? Pink. Probably not. Oh, I might make it on this one. If I'm lucky. Wait, what color? Oh, crap. I need the other dark color. 30 seconds to do this. Okay, apparently I have 20 seconds now. Okay. 15 seconds. That speech bubble is very annoying. Ah, frustrating as hell. All right, let's. All right, if this don't work, <laughs> I don't know what could work. What? What? Oh, you want pink? That's right. Ugh. Ugly pink. You want it yellow for the other one. <sighs> Go away. I think that could have helped me out last time. 
is to just use these use it without the uh, the colors so this one I want to do this way mainly for the fact that uh, ah mainly for the fact that it's easy to see this one's not like in a corner or anything like that and I have plenty of time to do it in um, so I'm just going to do it this way except I might have screwed up like last time where I didn't have a where I barely cut in on time actually I am wasting a lot of time on this tree so I might not make it oh, I should be able to make it actually I think I'll make it on this one Okay, so the tree actually had it right. Nope. Actually, I might go the I might actually go this route just because it's not that difficult to change colors. I really like putting the pressure on. This is supposed to be fun, not super challenging. But I guess it's a challenge for a reason, isn't it? I'm doing pretty well, actually. Just should have just done it this route last time. Yeah, you're probably going to laugh at me for my previous three attempts that failed so miserably. Uh, let's see, I need red. <laughs> Wow, that is doing it this way. Actually, quicker. Let's see if you can assemble the rest like lightning. Holy crap! What? So, this is behind here. Behind here. Alright, I can do this. I uh, just wasted a lot of time trying to figure out what I needed to do. <laughs> Red, white, red, and the light, little white nib thing at the top. Okay, and then start with a red. Circle. Yeah, so if you guys know any more shortcuts for these, that would be awesome. Just so it would make my life of getting through this bit easier. This would also be very frustrating if I lost on like the last level and I have to start all over again. Okay, let's zoom out. Gotta zoom out. Wait, they're both oh they're both red. Oh I see. Red, red, white, oh. white, red, and a white nib. Oh, wow. That was actually a bit of a challenge. I can see why they put that in, because it's challenging. All right, so I think I'm going to cut this episode off here, just because I failed so many times. So, uh, 
Have a good day, and I will see you in the next episode.